In this mini series video, we will learn a bit more about Drupal Migrate. Specifically, we will learn how to migrate images and media entities and how to attach them to a node migration. In this first video, we will set up the migration prerequisites using Lando. To do so, I've created a demo site and extracted a database dump that I will use for this migration. The site URL and database dump is shared in the description of this video. Feel free to check it out. I'm using Lando, so the first thing that I need to do is to add an additional database. This is done by defining an additional service like this in your Lando.yaml files, and then running Lando Reveal. Once done, I run Lando Info to get the credential for my new database. I will later use these credentials in my site settings.php. Next, I will import my database dump into the newly created database. To do so, I'll use Lando DB import command and will pass the option host to it like this. It's done now. So let's add a new database connection in my site settings file like this. Now to test that, I will use drush SQL connection command using the database option. Here, I can run show tables to confirm that my database is working as expected. So, the database is working correctly. So, the only missing item for this video is to create a migration group. I will start by doing it through the UI and then I will export it and make a little adjustment there and finally reimport it. At this point, I have Migrate, Migrate Drupal, and Migrate Plus modules enabled. I go to Admin Structure, Migrate, and here I will add a new migration group. I name it Content. I fill in the rest of the details. And save my new group. Now I go to my terminal and export the configuration. Once done, I will open the newly created migration group file and I will edit it. I'll add the shared configuration so that every migration plugin in this group is using the migrate source key. Finally, I will import my configuration. And that's all for this video. We added a new database, imported a dump into it, added the credentials as an additional database in Drupal, and created a migration group. 
The only other preparation needed for the next video is to create a module where to put your migrations plugin. Please make sure you have done that before watching the next video. Thanks.